chronically online and not me. Nope, never. Not Anyways. you. <laughs> getting out, of, out of us two, I'm the more chronically <laughs> yes, online one. You're the speedrunner. Anyways, <laughs> getting into game number one here on Small Battleville, my friend. That early banana not going to find its mark. And instead, Madasi has been is so good at keeping himself in that contested range, but is going to eat a whole lot of damage for it. That being said, just full on scrap early. No player really able to cement stage control just yet. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, both players are going at each other, but now we have the first ledge situation of the game. Keycard, who does not capitalize on it, and actually gets kind of beaten up for it. Madasi putting on like 40, 50 percent, but now yeah. he is back on the ledge. And I love that wall jump there, right into the Aegon, just trying to find some extra pressure. Backer is going to even this game right up now with that damage over time again. Right, these percent have closed on out and down air trading with. Bear. I'm Ooh. sorry, that was disgusting. Ooh, what the heck was that? That was so dumb. I mean, that is like something that I noticed a lot in the J Grand versus Madasi set is that Madasi's offstage play was really impressive, both recovering and offensive play. He got so many KOs offstage, and he got a lot of he got a, he recovered a lot in that set in in a lot of situations where you normally win. And that Aha was so smart too, using it as a true projectile just to interrupt the barrels. Now trying to find single gun off ledge, right? Just Disrupt Keycard's timing a little bit, get him uncomfortable. Well, Diddy's a very technical character, and so when you can disrupt their flow, even though it's not a lot of damage, you might be able to find some bigger openings. That's kind of how Madasi's trying to play right now. He's not about optimizing his combos on stage. He's about doing everything possible to try and find these reversals, pressure Diddy in the corner, and not let him find the space to set up with these bananas. Yeah, definitely do not want to get uh, let Diddy Kong set up in, against any Diddy Kong. It doesn't matter what level Diddy Kong they are. Because Diddy Kong is so, so powerful with stage control. So if you can prevent that from happening, you're in a good spot. And Madasi's in a good spot right now. Got center stage, 116% on the Diddy Kong. He's probably feeling good about himself right now. And the single hit gun at point blank range not working out. Very interesting choice from Madasi. They're gonna trip, and I love the way Card is playing this pressure here. He at ledge in the corner, or unfortunately just gonna get out disjointed, out pressure there, there, but still somehow manages to find his way back. And Madasi, he, you mentioned he was really good off ledge, but he's been able to find those through at the cost of overextensions, and right now, Keycard is playing very patient, punishing him for them time and time again. Keycard must have been doing his research in the last set, uh, being aware of the uh, options that Madasti likes to do off the ledge, and has been punishing them perfectly. And now he's starting, he was at quite a deficit not too long ago, and he's evened it up just a little bit, and oh, was one step away from getting the KO there, but Madasti's gonna close it. He just second-guessed himself, and Madasti catching a break there after missing that drag down up here earlier on. Now. Right, just finding once again some pressure, trying to keep Keycard in the corner, racking on the damage, and I like that gun to boot. But right, you just keep it mixed up, keep him tricky. Again, Keycard taking a guess on the DI, not playing this one reactively at all. He's starting to get a little antsy, and Madasti taking full advantage. Now, not only is the percent racking up, but our Sen is almost online. Yeah, definitely. It's going to take a lot from Keycard oh, oh. to survive this game. He's got to get through Arsen, which is going to be online soon. He needs to take this stock before Arsen even has a chance to, to take his. And I love the way Madasti is using Gun here, right? Just trying to time you for Arsen, trying to find the op as many opportunities as possible well, to stay alive, maximize his ability to close out this game because if he dies, he's losing most of that charge anyway, so why not try and survive, get as much possible out of it extra? Doing so 150%, now he has a full healthy stock to work with. If Keycard, even without Arsene, has to be scared of back air, up air, up smash, almost anything closing it out at this point. What can you possibly find here, Walt? I, I feel like if you're Keycard in this situation, you want to stay as close to center stage as you possibly can. Because Choker's moves aren't the most strong in the world, but it, the closer you are to the ledge, the clean, uh, quicker they will kill. And we're seeing that right there. Madasti taking the first game with the, the non arson back air, 170%. Yeah, and to, you know, and, and to quote uh, our little cat friend there, uh, that was crazy. That was crazy. Is that what the... That yeah. Is that what the yeah. What yeah. is that... Cat's name. I'm totally blanked on it. I don't know either. It's M something. It starts with an M, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, about. yeah. Maybe anyway. the, the Persona fans in chat will know. There's got to be yeah, one. Well, you know what? Uh, all I know about that cat is it says, Looking cool, Joker. Yeah. The worst taunt in the game. Looking cool, Joker. That's got to be top five Looking worst. cool, Waffle. That's Looking crazy. Looking cool, Majestic. Anyways. Um, That's got to be one of the top five worst taunts in the game.
it, definitely top five BM for sure. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, we'll see if we get it. We hear anything coming out here as the, it comes to a head. The advent of all our crises is upon us, my friend. A one-winged angel approaches, and in the coming of that disaster, we have a little Diddy Kong and Joker scrapping it out to try and find out who may move on in the winner's side. I love the idea that you don't want to even stage counterpick, you just want to music counterpick one-winged angel. <laughs> like, yeah. that's just so good. But what's crazy is because <laughs> our son's got two wings. Our He's son, got one too many. The one too many? That means yeah, our son doesn't know how to count, and so, so one-winged angel comes out on top as a result. <laughs> Player. He's just like, I don't know what to do here. Music. He's like, you, you don't have the right number of wings, so you aren't going to win this one. Yeah. But, that was uh, crazy. Definitely not, he is definitely not going to win with this one if he continues to SD like that. Unfortunate there was that 70%, which is going to be a huge swing to Medasti, who already has one game on the board. Yeah, Medasti with some great positioning there to capitalize off that with guns. He's definitely caught himself overextending at times a set, and that was no exception. Putting himself in the corner, he took full advantage and just out maximizing the ledge. And while you're never happy about SDing, the best way is to capitalize on your opponent's overextension to take an early stock right, right back and turn. This game suddenly, it's a minute in, we're one stock down a piece. It's really like it's just a normal game of Smash Brothers. It's just a normal game of Smash Brothers. There's nothing weird going on. No SDs are happening. I don't know what you guys are talking about, what you guys saw, but it's just it's just two just two characters hitting each other on the screen. I don't know. But uh, Madassi is definitely the one getting the more hits at the moment. I can tell you that much. Yeah, Madassi is the one playing confident right now. You can see Carb dashing in, shielding repeatedly, delaying every single option he's picking. He's starting to second guess himself. He's getting a little bit nervous as he's trying to get a bead on what Madasi is trying to get done here. Madasi can smell the blood in the water and ever the predator trying to come in and pounce on it. Time might be starting to run out for a card as he, he only has a stock left and not much of one of that. He definitely does not have a lot of time left. 109%, 112% now on this stock. He's been lapped by Mendosti and, and needs to find the stock soon or else it's going to be big, big trouble for him. Yep, the pop gun forcing you to go low though. Mendosti trying to hold on to the stock. Uh, hasn't been able to get off ledge though. Card has done it sloppily but still able to lock it on down. Waffle, unfortunately locking it down was not enough. He he still had the key and unfortunately that was all she wrote. That was all she wrote. Mendosti. Uh, with a pretty solid performance in both games.